Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to your weekly messages. And these are going to be for August 20th to the 26th of 2019. And so I have some oracle cards out, I have some tarot decks, I have all sorts of good stuff for you today. Now let's start with a truth bomb and just get started. Before I dig into this reading completely, go ahead and take a moment to subscribe if you haven't already, ring the bell if you would like to know when I publish more readings, and of course check me out on Instagram at Onyx Healing. I'm going to be doing some giveaways soon depending on what the uh, knock knock stuff sent me. So if you have been following me on Instagram, you might know that um, the company that makes the Affirmator decks gave me a coupon code. I'll link it in the description box if you're interested in the Affirmator decks, um, but I'm going to be doing a giveaway on there soon, so make sure you follow me. Other than that, let's go ahead and dig into this. We have, if you have to demand it, is it worth receiving? This has to do with force. Like, how much are you trying to force it, or are you holding on so tightly to it that it's almost suffocating, you know, and at a certain point you have to make a distinction between what is pushing past fear, what is internal resistance that's just being created by excuses and perfectionism and all a whole bunch of different fear-based ideas, and what is actually, you know, hey, this isn't the right direction for you. It's just there's so much resistance. It's kind of like the universe saying, no, no, go this way. And that's what this is reflecting. Um, so for example, like let's say you have applied to the same company four times and it gets rejected. I would assume that that's probably not a good fit for you as far as the company goes. So keep stuff like that in mind. It doesn't mean that we don't experience resistance, we have to push past, but you really have to look at it as when am I pushing so much that it's, it's not working for me. Then we have comparison. Watch out for this. You know, comparison is not the good way to go this week. It's just going to cause too much stress. It's also going to prevent you from focusing on things that are truly important to you. And I, I think that this is kind of a call to stay focused on what you want to do. Remember that your unique essence and flavor and th interests is what makes you you. And so that's what the world needs more of. It doesn't need you to model other things that are being done by other people. It really needs a lot of authenticity coming from you. So comparison is reminding you not to just automatically do what other people are doing, but instead speak your truth, take action on your truth, and that's going to serve you the best. All right, this is the Affirmator's deck for love and relationships. And this isn't just for romantic partnerships. It's for relationships across the board. So let's see what we have coming up this week for everybody. Compassion. I almost thought that said comparison again. I was like, whoa. Okay, I choose compassion over criticism. Walking a mile in other people's shoes reminds me they might be going through something tougher than I think. Like their shoes are too tight or they're the kind of shoes that are too casual to be dressy and too dressy to be casual. Basically, I have no idea what they're dealing with privately. So I'll cut them some slack and be thankful for the shoes I've been dealt. Okay, you know what really helps me with this? to not take things so personally is like think about a time when you were having a really bad day and you snapped at somebody really quick or you did something that was totally out of character like it wasn't even you. That's the type of stuff that if you reflect back on that you can then apply it to other circumstances and then give people the benefit of the doubt like hmm maybe they're having a bad day the way you know, I was at a certain point in time. It can just help add some perspective to it. So think back to times when you were having a bad day and other times when maybe you made a mistake. And, and 
allow those problems that have existed in the past or those mistakes that have existed in the past, allow that to be a source of compassion for others. It doesn't mean you don't demand respect, right? It doesn't mean you don't set boundaries, but compassion is what helps you not personalize other people's behavior. That's the difference. Alrighty. Let's see what else we have in store for this week. Four of Swords. I'm not going to speak to that yet. Let me pull a few other cards. Because I don't, I don't actually think this is rest, which normally it is. But let's see what else is going on. Six of Swords. Okay, so there's movement going on. This is like you getting to dry land. So if you feel like things have been really turbulent, this is an indication that things are going to be not quite as rocky and unstable. And so now this is looking to me like the Four of Swords is actually showing some stability, like things are growing and getting more concrete and solidified, which is an indication of just a slower pace. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles, this is about career and work and the effort that you're giving in the material world. So maybe you have some career stuff going on that you're looking to uh, build and grow and develop. And so I think there's going to be some strides made there. You might have some new ideas or you're taking a lot of action that can really support your pursuits. And then let's see what else we have going on. Judgment, final decisions. And this is also clarity about what you want to do. So maybe action is just providing a lot of clarity on what is working or what isn't working. I also see this as just a, a space where you're able to anchor into yourself more and get really grounded. That's another thing that's coming up. So maybe you're not career oriented or that's not something that's really a concern for you. I think this is just about your internal sense of peace and stability and getting clear on the direction that you're moving. Sometimes we're in a big stage of upheaval, moving things around, making a whole bunch of decisions that are kind of shifting our courses. And so this is a time when that's going to be calming down a lot. I think as we move into Virgo season, you're going to be seeing that more and more. Seven of Swords. Man, I don't know what the deal is with the Seven of Swords, but it has been coming up a lot in my readings on here. So I, I think there's still something about like sneakiness or keeping things under wraps, not wanting to shout it from the rooftops right away because this is a, a sneaky card. That's why there's a fox on here. So you might just find that there's a lot of stuff that you're like, you know what? kind of want to keep it to myself and that's okay and then we also have the six of pentacles what you put in is what you get out and that's energetically but also keep in mind that that's not how it works when it comes to relationships so if you found yourself in a relationship where it's one-sided giving you're not getting anything in return that's not going to be sustainable so this is a call for you to reflect on the things that have or on the relationships that are reciprocal, what isn't really what relationships aren't reciprocal, and then on top of that, what type of effort are you giving the things that you would like to pursue, that you would like to bring to life, essentially, because that's where input is going to equal output. And then we have the Knight of Swords. Do it your way, like it's it's not something where you can expect someone to give the same level of effort if as you if that's not their truth, if that's not what they want to do. But this is about carving your own path, doing things in a way that works for you and following that nudge of this is where I want to be, this is what I want to step into, this is the direction that I'm going. All right, then we've got the Pagan playing cards. Let's see what's coming up here. Two of Wands. Focus on the big vision. What is it that you're wanting to do 
long term. This is about creating a map for yourself to make that a reality. And the nice thing about this is that you can take as many detours as you need, but it's just about sculpting, okay, what would incremental steps look like for me to get to that next level? And just kind of sculpt it out that way. Put a plan together. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. So that makes sense, right? This is long-term vision, long-term success. It's about your legacy, your foundation, the big picture. At the end of your life, what do you want to look back on? And what, what type of success do you want to have? What type of effort do you want to give? What do you want to really build in the material world? What do you want to create? These are all big questions to ask. But I think you're on the track to stability in that arena. I'm going to pull a few of these Sovereign Oracle cards just to wrap up, and then I'll do a three-card pick. All right, so for the week, we have... Listen, pause, let your, let your emotions guide you. Ask your body for its perspective. Notice the messages appearing around you. All right, so keep your eyes peeled for signs, and you know I don't say that often. You know I'm not... I. It's like 11-11, no, that's not always a, a yes, right? It, there's some nuance to it. So, But this is a time where if you really are asking, should I pay attention to what's falling into place around you and what's going on? And also notice your body. Notice what's calling your full body as yes and what is a contraction. We have friction. Receive the gift in the conflict. Empathize with an opposing viewpoint. Remember that when rough surfaces rub together enough, the final result is smoother. Okay, love that last one. Friction is not a bad thing. Conflict is not a bad thing. It creates solutions. That's the space where you grow and evolve. So just keep that in mind. Friction is the path out. And we have decoy, look for the true culprit, self-sabotage may be at work, evaluate if something is really need, if it's something you really need to do, or if it's attempting distraction. So focus on the important stuff and keep your eyes peeled for anything that's just an excuse. Like, do you really need to take an additional class? Do you really need to get that extra software? Do you really need to make that additional investment? Do you really need to read that book? Do you really need to do all of those things before you get started or do you just need to get started? Okay, and then we'll pick one more of these. Epiphany, trust the aha, don't wait for a download, explore curiosities now and the truth will find you. Yeah, you're going to have to take action first. And that's what I was saying here about maybe you've been doing stuff and now you're kind of refining things. Ask your dreams to guide you to the answer. Okay. Big stuff. All right, let's do a three card pick. You're welcome to ask a question, ask for guidance. You can pick card one, two, or three. You can pick as few or as many as you'd like. Check in with yourself. Deep breath into the diaphragm. Card number one. The wheel, change and possibilities. This is... Uh, see, this is one of the cards where it's like, you're going to have to just jump and see what happens. You're going to have to take action and see what happens. The possibilities are out there, but contemplating and thinking and marinating isn't the path to clarity. You're going to have to actually do something about it rather than contemplate about it. Card number two, we have the four of acorns, comfort, community. The word routine is coming up with this. What are you doing consistently? What do you have? Go like, evaluate your home. That's, I mean, what, what's going on in your physical living situation? Are you surrounded by comfort? Are you surrounded by chaos? What adjustments can you make to your routine, your living situation in order to support you in the ways that will work best? And it's also about digging into 
where you're going to receive comfort from stability and structure within your own life. Like that is something that you need to buckle down on because it looks like there's a solution in that. And then card number three, we have the two of crystals, balance, adaptability, weighing out your options. And this is also about being flexible. So maybe there's a few things that you can integrate. It's not just all or nothing. It's not just one thing that you have going on. You can kind of weave in multiple elements. And that, that might work best. Find the middle ground as well. That's the other thing coming up here. It's not black or white. You can weave in more than that. All right, everybody, that's all that I have for you this week. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And until next time, if you need to work with me or if you'd like to check out more of my work, head to the description box. You guys know I have a link to work with me. You can go to onyxhealing.com for more. I have a podcast out now uh, that's been going on for quite a while, so check that out. And I will talk to you in the next one. Have a good week, everybody. Bye-bye.